Welcome to Mill City Roasters. We have a very short video for you today on a very important topic. Mm. This is a trick that will hopefully help you in your roasting business. It's kind of one of those tricks similar to testing whether a cake is done oh, yeah. by sticking a toothpick into it. Uh, it may seem like it's, it's kind of low tech, but it's actually a really good insight into the system that you're cooking your coffee in. All right, or roasting your coffee in, I should say. Yeah, and it was, when I was a child, it was, it was super exciting to poke it. Oh yeah, you know I mean, like, it was well, like, yeah. This is gonna be super exciting too, because we get <laughs> awesome. to play with fire today. Woo. All right. Um, all right, so air is moving through your roasting system, and it's important for you to understand how that air is moving through, if it's too fast or too slow. If your air is moving through mm -hmm. your system too slow, one of the things that could happen is it could actually choke out your flame. Yeah, definitely. Yep. If, another thing that can happen is as your coffee begins to cook and expand in the drum space, it builds pressure right. and some of the chaff, yeah. oh man, it, come can out start, the front. it comes out the front, right. it goes down uh, between your drum gap and into the flame right. and it could cause some problems there too. Definitely, and it's just an annoying smoky smell, you know what I mean, that could impart negative cup quality. So yeah, definitely, and That's it's right. dangerous. So hey, you know. So as you're setting up your roaster yeah. and you have a new machine, it's good to understand where your high air setting is and where your low air setting is. Definitely. So Derek is here with me today. Yep. He's gonna show you the handy dandy lighter trick. Wow, yep. With the trier port. Okay. And I want you to show them what it looks like when there's no coffee in the drum. Okay, no coffee in the drum. And you're at an, a low, too low okay, of an too air low. setting. Let's do that, Let's I like that. too low. Yep. So we're gonna start with that. So here we go, that's just, we'll just look at the flame, straight flame. Pull out the trier. We have a trier port right here. It should be drawing air through the roaster, through the drum. So we'll put this flame in front. I'd say about a quarter inch from the actual trier port, and then we'll see what happens to that flame. So basically what I'm seeing is not much at all. It looks pretty much the same right there as it would right here. So that's Can telling me, yeah. I, I, I mean, yeah, there's nothing really, there's nothing happening right there. Yeah, it's mm -hmm. not sucking that flame in. No, If no that air. flame is standing upright, that means that your air is too low. Too low. So let's bend that flame in a little okay. and show them what a good low nice. air setting it okay. looks like. Okay, all right, I'm gonna go up. I've done this before, so I kind of know where I'm working for. Ooh, I'm now liking we're that. Now we seeing some bend. I'm liking that. I'm still thinking it's not enough. I'm gonna bring it up till, it till, it, till it's kind of like more in the center. Nice 90 in the center. I'm gonna say like 60% yellow. All right. Yeah, I'm liking that. So yep. now let's move to what you would call a medium air okay, setting. Okay, cool. So Try we do the same light. Your finger. So we got that there. All right, now let's go. So that flame is tightening. Ooh, yep, it's, it's di extending deeper into you're, you're the right. trier port. It's skinnier. It's a little bit more 50 50 yellow blue, I want to say. Yep. And it's definitely drawing in a lot more deep into the port. That's I'd, right. I'd, I'd probably say right there. I'd, I'd, I'd like that for medium, you know, or median airflow. And now let's try that at a high air setting okay. and see what happens there. All right. So now the flame is getting even thinner, yep. but the flame is still adhering to the um, lighter. Yes. It's a lot more blue. Mm -hmm. We're still, we still have a good flame though on yeah. the lighter. Now yeah. let's see what too high would look like. Now we're gonna say too high. Now all of a sudden this flame is almost entirely blue. It's very narrow. And it's, it's having a hard time even holding flame. Like if I wasn't holding down on this a hard, really hard, I think it would go out actually. Absolutely. Yep, and yep, yep, he's yep. a little bit away from the trier port. Right. Lift that up a little closer and watch yeah. what happens. Totally blue flame. Right, it's almost out, honestly. It's almost out. And if you were to go a little higher yet. Yeah, yep, then it would just go out basically. There it goes. Yep, so it's, now I'm having a hard time even lighting it right there because it's so strong. Okay, so one of the things to think about though is right now, our roaster doesn't have any coffee in the space. Good point. Coffee takes up space, and Good so point. the air that's moving through the drum will be stifled by coffee in there. Mm -hmm. So I want to show you something. Okay. Go ahead and, and uh, turn it back on where you were at a good low setting okay. Okay. and hold the lighter there. And I'm going to put okay. some coffee in the drum. Okay, we're going to say like right there. Now this is the Mill City two kilo roaster. I love this roaster because the chassis is lifted up. The air for the cooling tray goes underneath. It's also at a really good size to where if you are roasting all day, you could even grab a stool and sit next to it. Yeah, I, I, I'm completely, I, I'm in awe of, you know, look down at the green opera too. As a roaster for many years, that's, that's exciting. Oh, what did you do? Oh. Okay, so I just put coffee in. Yeah. 
And what happened to the flame? Ah, uh, it's, it's barely getting drawn in now. I'd say it's about half as far in as I'd like it from my low. And I actually moved the lighter a little closer to it just so I could get a little suck still on it. Yeah, so go ahead and turn up the flame to where your new low setting would be. Okay, now I'm gonna go to probably more like right there, I'm gonna say. Great. Yep, 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 yep. So it's yep. important to not only know where your low setting is with the drum empty, but also with the drum full. Right and find where the low setting is um, for different charge weights that you have for your roaster as well. Yep. And then on the, on the inverse of that, you also wanna find the high point with different charge weights, a full drum and an empty drum. Definitely. Doing the lighter trick while you're doing your warm up help, helps you to understand how air is being pulled through the system to make sure that you don't blow out your flame underneath the drum Good point. or that you don't stifle that flame. Definitely. And then it's especially important when you have different batch sizes in your roaster. Yep. Yep. We hope you've enjoyed this trick. Come back again next time for another Mill City Roasters Education Short. Sweet. Thank you.